Yeah, let's go ahead and give this a go. Yeah, let's see what happens. Merlin's became level eight. Deploy the tactical merchant. Yeah, let's see here. Ah, Lord Hector, this is for you. It's an Earth Seal. How did you get this? Pagus told me to give it to you. You tell me the old man had this all along. He did say that it would help you in battle, but is it really that special? Yeah, it's as valuable as a heaven seal. Doesn't matter where we use it, just so long as we use it. I don't have anyone left to use it on. Everyone's promoted here, uh-huh. Only Nils could promote. Yeah, send that to the convoy. Okay, yeah, that is a handy thing to give as a gift, isn't it? I'll attack with range. With, I guess, uh, hand axe. Oh, light brand, actually. Maybe I shouldn't be moving a Oswin right there. But you can attack at one range with the axe as well. Hmm. Okay, so hold on. Let's get some squads moving here. No one's gonna be able to reach here for a little bit. How about my default thing on be the steel bow? Far head on this way. Have this on by default, how about? In we go. Have your default thing on be the steel lance. Okay. I mean, I could force this guy to use his light brand by going here. And yeah, sticking on with thunder. Your flux is the one that's equipped right now. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to get into range of any of those guys, right? Yeah, not quite. So let's just start going this way then. Yeah, I don't really want to go into light brand range there. I guess have this on by default for now. Sane, start moving down here. Okay. I'll send Merlinus with this squad, actually, so I can grab a rescue staff if I need it. To rescue Fiora after potentially getting up to that top village. Okay. And Matthew was going this way, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, along with Merlinus. And then, yeah, less dudos over here, so let's bring Nils this way. Ah, that's what we'll do. Oh, those guys are gonna run to the villages, maybe? Yeah, I am gonna need to rush my way in here. Gotta do it in 20 turns, huh? I'll do it. I'm in a confident mood today. Oh, I'm not doubling. That's fine. That is a-okay. Should probably move someone into that range. Hold on. Silver Lance. Let's go here with, yep, yeah, the hammer, how about? Interesting. But it's a good thing to get them out now rather than when I get Fior over there, you know? It's probably not exactly a half bad thing. So let's see here. That's a 39% chance of hitting. Yeah, give it a go. Cool. Lots of EXP. What kind of level up is Raven getting? Eh. Kinda sucky. Still, it can get all the way over here. But should I? Most crit rate with this. Imagine if I actually got the crit though. Okay. I thought it was strange when there wasn't a whole lot of reinforcements immediately after the thing for Bob. Like after the turn. Now it suddenly makes sense. So I can't quite get there. Let's have this on here. go this way. Now, nah, have this on by default just in case, maybe. I don't know. Whoa. 
little hiccup there. I mean, silver axe, huh? If I just shove Lin in here with a money cutty. Okay. Let's see. And now's the time to start going through things here. See what comes of this. Yeah, dude totally is running towards that village, isn't he? I'd say he most certainly is. Okay. Nice. There goes that guy. Just short of a level up because it's the rule. Okay. I mean... Yeah, so this still doesn't exactly seem to make Matthew good, per se. Try this, get the sword experience that I want. Just short. Let's see here. Now we got random crit. Imagine, though. Yeah, that happens. Archer's gonna go here. Hold on to that hammer. That's gonna happen. Let me come here. Like this. This is what we can do. Like that. Now we'll just make sure that you're on flux. Matthew, go here. Man, you get to promote thieves so dang late in the game. They're not all that great at this point, huh? Okay. Okay. Let's see here. Mr. Judo went after Lucius, probably determined that he could, in theory, do the most damage to Lucius. Is what he probably figured. But it's not a good play on his part. Not exactly the best. Nice. There goes that guy. Slight hiccup. Okay, nice. I'm gonna kill him next turn with somebody here. Crit? Nope. Nope, no crit for me. Yeah, this is a lot of enemies in this map. <laughs> Quite the number, huh? Hmm. Good thing my units are really strong, mostly. Mostly. Hopefully those guys don't have swords. Maybe Bartra can just deal with them. Okay, let's see. Do they? Dang. So they can attack at one range. That's unfortunate, isn't it? I just get out of the way from them for now. So yeah, I can do that. The guy's gonna be making his mad dash over there. I'll be able to get him next turn if I really want. Hold on. Can't quite get to anyone else here. I can start doing that. I'd rather give the XP here to someone who can actually use it. Unfortunate. Let's see. So 66 my best odds that I'm getting here? This will give me an advantage against the guys that are yet to come here, though. Maybe Oswin should actually get the kill. Come on. Wow, he got a crit. Because, yeah, he should be able to take some physical hits here. Wow. Okay. Yeah, they can't quite make it over. So if I go here and kind of magic wall... Let's see here. 
Nice. Yeah, so Iron Axe is the next one. And they're all going to have lances here, right? Oh, there's a couple Axe Reavers in there. Hmm. I don't know. Give this a go here anyway. Give it a shot regardless. Chill with that. So it's a fair game to put Matthew here. And grant that support bonus. Yeah, I think we're gonna start pulling back here. Maybe I'll look at some enemy phase damage. I'll why them, maybe take why them out. Chill on this tile instead. That guy might be able to attack with the sword, but we'll see. So we'll see. Okay. Go ahead and do that, Hector. Yeah, a whole bunch of guys are gonna come rushing in here shortly. So maybe I'll make like a little bit of a wall. And they're gonna be wielding axe, lance, sword. Full mix. this tile here and chill with the money cutty how about sure Mills has kind of got to pick up some slack here okay yeah let's see what comes of this yeah good luck good luck going after Priscilla Nice. No crit though. Yeah, doesn't need Priscilla to keep on avoiding things, both her speed. Nice. It's a good thing my allies are so dang busted. They are very strong. Assuming I keep on getting good RNG here. Ah, Priscilla, absolutely one of my best units here. No doubt about that. Come on, Sane. You got this, man? Yeah, so I guess these Axe Slayer guys are the ones going after him. Like, it has to be those two. Nice. Ooh! That is what we like to see. Good job, Sane. That's not what we like to see. Bad job, Sane. Ow. Ooh, nice. Another thing we like to see. Okay. As long as the mage doesn't wreck her. That other paladin might be able to make it over. Okay. That's a pretty good level up. Oh, crap, man. Well, I guess we're not doing that then. Let's see. Oswin was able to uh, get the poke here. <laughs> Alright, the laws of time are mine to control. <laughs> Screw it. <laughs> well. Well. Okay. could do something like this. Sure, and the Rapier will be pretty good against these guys that come up. Will be the case. Okay. Let's see here. Shove our funky bard over this way. And this guy will be able to reach a tile farther when I go here, I'm fairly certain. Right. Yeah. 
mean, if some of them wanted to go after Fiora instead, she goes into a tile that they won't be able to attack her at one range. Yeah, so that one there. These guys don't have javelins or anything. So I might just be able to chill here with the javelin and see what comes of it. So, I mean, yeah, if I just, like, do this, and maybe I start forming a slight wall here. I have the Iron Sword on by default, sure. Sane can just go with Lance. He can do... Who? Oh. That's who, apparently. Alright, we're safe behind the uh, wall here. Merlin's can't even get super far. Okay. Let's see. Because Priscilla should just be able to shove her face right in front of enemy lines there. And not really care. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate, isn't it? And maybe I should just be doing the same with Lucius on the right side there. <laughs> you know. Is maybe what I should be doing. Just to let Lucius and Priscilla clean everything up for me. <laughs> As we advance forward. Okay. And because that one brigand came over and attacked her, that means that we don't have to worry about him going to that ruins or village or whatever the heck. You know. No worries about that. Nice. Yeah, everyone enjoyed dying to magic here. She's so busted. Okay, she didn't double because the thunder broke. That's fine. That's fine, though. As long as our lower guys don't die. Cool. I don't know whether she's using the fire or the elf fire right now. Well, it's not bad for a plus one. Considering it's something that doesn't often go up. No. Oof. Okay, but now no one else is attacking apart from that mage, I guess. Anyway. Don't know if I'm using Elfire or Fire. Fairly certain Fire, because I checked Fire in, like, the forecast before. So it's probably that that I'm using here. Okay, we're good. We're good here. And my other allies will move in and clean up here. Yeah, so... Okay. I got a little bit of damage that way. Yeah, no one's attacking Bartray now. Okay, more guys. I do have an inventory space now that the uh, thunder broke. Grab a rescue later. Alright, let's see what's going on over here first, how about? So let's do that. There go that guy. And then, if I use Pent to take out you, then that'll free up Lucius to do whatever else he wants. Hmm. Lance, Lance. Come on. You've got to be kidding me right now. Moving Jafar in. Get the kill. And then Hector is moving in here. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Pent can heal Lucius on the next turn here. Nels is getting here. He didn't have to start so dang far away. I could, but I want the experience going to someone that I'm actually, you know, actively using. What can Kanas do? So Kanas... 
Sure, give it a go. I just would like some experience. That actually didn't give a whole lot, did it? Here. Just to open stuff up for us. There we go. I wonder. Sure, do it. Let's clear the way. And then, move Raven in here. Dang. There we go. Whatever. So dang close to that. S in axes. That's gonna be a little bit annoying, isn't it? Maybe I can bait him into just attacking if I get Priscilla close enough. Maybe. Any weapon levels that I want to try and get before the end? Maybe I will try to get lances to S. Yeah, it's the closest thing that I can do here. So here, use the lance. Give it a go. Neat. No one that I really desperately need to heal, I don't think. Yeah, maybe this will also bait you into coming over and just doing an attack. Especially if I can't counter here. Can't quite reach you for an attack. You have a longbow, huh? Dang. I mean, I might not be able to land it. So let's chill there. Alright, that is a lot of dark mages. That is quite the number of them, isn't it? So, they have eight movements, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two. Be able to reach then? Oh, well. Might just come in with the, uh, sword then. Well, let's see here. Let's see what happens, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna need to go stop that guy from raiding that village. Ow. Nice, Jafar. Okay. There goes the steel sword. Yeah, here they come. Nice. 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 This is what we like to see. Waste all your long range crap. Oh, you're going that way. Alright, that's fine. Oh, you went into a space that you could counter. It's not gonna be doubling you or anything, though, but... Still nice. Eh. Yeah, you're going into sword attacking range, though. Yeah, so I might just have to restore there now. But that guy is in range where I can kill him. So it's turn five, huh? Probably gonna have to make a little bit of a wall here. I wouldn't mind leaving Priscilla here for... What did you have? Bolting? You have... Purge. Okay. It's not like Berserk Stabs or anything, so I don't have to, you know, get them to waste it all too, too much here. This guy's gonna make it there in two turns. I, mean, I kinda gotta get over here. This is the Uber Spear, right? <laughs> yeah, it is. I can use it if I really need to. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. How about... This guy might just come over and attack her then, and then we can grab the thing. I think. Meanwhile, over here... Give it a go. Kind of hoping that I'd miss, but oh well, it's fine. Level up. No more Berserk Staff guy. That sucks. More uses of Restore there. I mean, I have some more Restore Stabs and stuff. Hmm. Oswin can form part of the wall here, too. Let's see. 
so if I do this... Then we just say... Sure, chill there. Javelin is already equipped, nice. Yeah, so you won't be able to attack Kanos with a sword. So we might just be good. No. I can probably start Priscilla moving in here. I don't think she's gonna mind too much. Maybe I should have seen if I needed to take out this guy with her first. Do what I should have done. Yeah, whoops. Whatever. Here, just do this, how about? Oh, nice one, Sane. Nice. I'm gonna get another crappy level up. It's just the name of the game today. Okay, that wasn't too bad. So, yeah, two units that need healing. So I'm moving in this way. So Pent is gonna wanna do some healing here. I yeah, may as well try to finish off Lance's. I think I'm closer at now. I'll not finish it off per se, but just get it to a point where, uh... I can do the thing! I can use some higher level stuff. You know? Let's see here. Let's do that, how about? Alright. Let's see here. <laughs> Look at this. What a dusty place. You have a pretty unique sprite. Who's this? Whoa. Who, who are you? Where did you come from? Our sage? Who are you? You're not the Arc sage, are you? Um, I... I'm sorry for my mistake. Hey, wait a minute. Who are... I'm from Arcadia. I wanted to speak to the Arc sage. Um... But he's not here, is he? No, the old man's gone. I see. Um, do you need this? What is it? It is a talisman. We want you all to do your best for the future. Please don't lose. If the light is strong enough, I can dispel darkness. She's gone? What in the world was that all about? So she was someone from the uh, place where humans and dragons were living peacefully together? It seems like. Here, I'll do this. Sure. Yeah. So we can schmoove in here. Let's get our health back. Okay. All the health back. Am I ever gonna use that men's staff? Look, I don't even need to. Why would I? All right. Yeah, you did attack. Well, it absolutely destroyed. <laughs> okay. Yeah, cause this is probably the last time that I'm using the money cutty. I may as well. May as well do it. Ow. I guess you have the weapon advantage. I suppose you do. <laughs> okay. Well, I was gonna do, like, rescue stuff, but I might not even need to. <laughs> it's looking like... Considering Fiora is one of my best units here. Now, considering she's a... The full 2020 at this point. Ow. But yeah, I'm probably not gonna want Priscilla right in the range of all those Brazilian magic guys. Did you just cross the river? Is there a bridge or did you just straight up cross? Nice. So we can pull back and wall on the forts. Dang it, man. That's what we can do. Okay. So this is turn, what, six now? Yeah, six. Okay, up we go. I may as well go here. Keep on advancing forward. 
off we go. Okay. Keep on going, Elwood. You have important places to be after all. Our squads will meet up and stuff. So... Yeah, what exactly do I want to do with Fiora, huh? Oh, so you just use the light brand. Okay. So I can probably do this. So noisy. I thought I could escape battle here on the Dread Isle. No, not interested in why you're fighting. I'm only looking for tranquility. If helping you will bring it to me, then I will lend you my power. Not that I will be that much help. A very strange time to recruit someone, but okay. Oh, I guess I'm not switching my weapon here, but whatever. Maybe I'll just try and move him out of range as much as I can this turn. So one guy will be able to attack him. But... Nobody else, unless bolting and stuff, but... Divine Fortified Light Rune. Oh, and that's, uh... Lux units from entering spaces. This might actually be the time to use this. You know, so that you stay alive. Then I can move you out on the next turn here. And then I can just rescue with Fiora and we can dip on out of here. Sounds like a good plan to me. Personally. Yeah. So let's do that, how about? No one else is gonna be able to make it over here quite yet, so if I can secure the kill with Sane, which I totally can, did I want to finish Lances to the next level? Oh, Lances is an S, nice! Sword is a little bit closer than Axes. The long sword here, let's just... I don't really need to preserve the long sword or anything, but meh. Let's do this, I got an Osferatu. Cool, I moved everyone down here, right? Yep. So let's see here. How about I do this? Like that. I'm gonna skedaddle Merlinus on through. I mean, I can see if I can beat you out on one of these tiles for fun. have Matthew chill there. Means Merlinus can go here. None of these guys have long bows, right? We're good. Then we can go here. We can go ahead and do this. Top of Priscilla's health. What is your staff ability now, Kanas? It was like eight or something, right? It was pretty good. All right. All righty. Yeah, these guys are not gonna be able to raid any of these villages. All right. Ooh, nice. Very cool. Yeah, I should get Lucius in there is what I should do. Yeah, Mr. Dudo didn't want to go past the light rune. Okay, neat. Nice try. Okay, it's fine. Nice. I just try going after the former Black Fang assassin here. That's fine. Well, get the heck out of there. Yeah, I don't think I can imagine doing this in three squads. Came over here? What a weirdo. I guess they can just cross the water. Another one's gonna be able to attack with the sword, but the last one won't. Last one is gonna have to get hit. No, I was going after Oswin. Okay. Wow, okay. And now OBS just flashed black for some reason, but it seems like it's good now. Oh, look, we're on forts and stuff. So this is turn seven. We're doing pretty good, I think. We are doing pretty good here. So should I? It's great, let's go for it. Nice. What kind of level up we getting? I mean, I can just... 
Yeah, you'll get lances to A. No worries there. Okay. The level increased. Sweet! Okay. So maybe now I should just, like, commit to swords. I don't think I'm getting it up there, but I can try. Here, let's do that. Let's get over here. Let's get schmoovin' here. Sure, do it! He's not gonna care about that axe guy. Oh, there's a few of these guys here. Sure, I'll be fine. I can dip out with those guys and shove Hector in later. Or, like, take Hector out. That is, sorry. So, it's time. Yeah, that's already at S. I may as well work at bows where I can. Okay. Then we just start poking away. Like, they are not breaking through this wall. It's not happening. But no rush here. Nice. Okay. Oh! The impassable includes me, too. Okay, well. Let's see. Well, I want to have this equipped first and foremost. Okay. I don't need to heal up with anyone over here. I can heal up Sane. There go. Hmm. Might have even less chance of hitting Raven. Sure. Sure, let's go there like that. Yeah, and I'll just use Fior to get that last village there. It'll be fine. Come on, good level up on Hector. Okay, well. I'm hitting harder, I'm taking less physical damage. Nice. Yeah, I'll probably just move Lucius in here and have him clean up. Wow! Nice job, Hector. You did it. Neat. Yeah, that is a lot of guys, but we'll definitely get this before turn 20. We most certainly will. Okay. I would have say free thanks for the free experience, but I'm not getting any yikes free experience off of that. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, that was this here. Hold on. Matthew needs to be slightly worried. Maybe I'll do this. I can deal with that guy on the next turn. It's no problem. It's no problem here. Let's do this. Okay. I want some bow experience, so we got that guy out of here. Let me start chipping away. I'll hold one damage back, huh? Then over here. That's sad, isn't it? I still got my weapon level increased, though. Alright. In that case, I'll just have Lin clean them up, I think. That's what I'll do. Whoa, will Lin speed one up? That never happens! She's always getting things like strength and defense. Can't imagine Lin getting speed on level up. It looks like it might actually be safe and fair game to move Hector into here. I don't know. I'm shoving him in there again anyway. I'm doing it. And then I'll probably swap to solo Lucius next turn. I can start using Penta heal my allies down there. Sorry, next turn as well. Yeah, whoops. I thought that was just, like, preventing enemies from getting over. And I, uh, didn't switch weapons, but it's fine. It's not like I can counter there anyway. Okay. Good job, Hector. Good job, man. 
Now you're gonna get the most amazing level up ever. Eh. All right. Ow. He'll be okay. He'll be all right, as long as that druid isn't, you know, like the meanest druid ever. So many guys. All right, yeah, we're good. We can get Lucius in there and Lucius can just kind of take over, I think. Okay, as long as he doesn't get snippety sniped here. Ow. I think they only have like a small handful of uses of... No. Yeah, I cannot imagine playing this game without safe states at this point, my God. I mean, I guess I could always just play safer. Let's just get in there. Uh, yeah, I'll still have my other units just kind of chill over here. Something. There we go. Land that. Up a level increased. And we do this. Do -do -do -do. Sure, do that then. And then... Yeah, I may as well shoot for sword S, right? I don't know if I'm getting... Do I want to try and get that up to A? Oh, I don't have a place that I can shoot anyway. Okay. I may as well chill here and heal if we're hanging back. Well. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Some of our HP back. Yeah, Elwood could use a little bit too. Yeah, let's just move around here. Let's have this on, I think. Yeah, if they want to use Light Brand, then, you know, be my guest. Try to do enough damage that I can two-shot, how about? Not like I'm gonna use Oswin after this. After all... Let's see here. that then. Maybe just give that a go. Yeah, but I'm not doubling because the thing breaks. There it goes. No more lightning. No more thunderbolts and lightning. No more very, very frightening. All right. Yeah. Go after him. See if he cares. I really don't think he is. <laughs> I really don't think he will. Because that's just the way he be. Yeah, my squads will come together and we'll start moving over that really thin bridge. <laughs> nice, nice, Lucius. Lucius is so dang OP. <laughs> cool. Priscilla and Lucius, my goodness gracious. They grew to be so dang busted in this playthrough. Didn't they? It's amazing. What? Well, I've been lied to. Okay. Neat. Ow. This is fine. And maybe Bartra can start getting some snipes. My god! <laughs> I gotta start rushing in there. Hold on. It's turn eight. I'm actually making really good speed here. But you know, as long as I get Lucius over here, they're just going to surround him, and he'll just clean up as many dudos as can reach him, you know? <laughs> Fairly soon is what's going to happen. He's going to start hitting them with divines. Uh, he can't get over to that guy. Yeah. I'm not breaking a hole open there. So yeah, let's just do this. Nice. So I can still double one more guy. May as well work at swords, or something or other. Let's 
Let's see here. Stamp. I guess I could have practiced bows this time. This is what I could well have done. Okay. Poke. Yeah, get ourselves healed up to get ready to be moving in there. Go. Got my go after Hector. Jafar here. Doesn't really matter which, I don't think. Yeah, we can kill this guy now. Should I just try to kill these guys? Screw it, I will. Then I can start moving in. These guys are out of here. I don't have to hold down this wall anymore. Eh, res doesn't always go up. Let's see here. Want that last little bit of axe? Come on. Dang it, man. Hmm. Sure. Give it a go. Yeah, Merlin should be pretty safe there, I think. Hopefully. Okay, should move down here for safety's sake. Meanwhile, over here. Yeah, let's go ahead and visit. No one. Hmm? What's this? Sets litany. Dance that increases allies' dodge for a turn. Alright, send that to Merlin. Let's help out. That is so many shamans. So many of them. And they're all gonna attack Lucius and die! <laughs> all of them. There goes my shine. Well, maybe not all of them then. Man, now the uh, super powerful one is what he's using. Which, I don't know if he's gonna have enough uses. It's a fresh one here, but uh. I just keep moving Lucius up there. I have to make a delivery of some more tomes to him, potentially. Very nice. Very cool. Yeah, keep attacking and missing Merlinus. That works great. Oh my god. What kind of sick joke is this? I don't think Lucius is gonna care too much, though, right? If only he could one-shot. Okay, this guy needs to start to die. Nice, the miss. Should maybe make a wall down here. Oh. Run crit. Imagine, though. Okay. Because, yeah, I need to start moving through that center area. Get it on lockdown. So, uh, these dudos don't just have to be forced to chill here, you know? Gonna be a bunch of lance wielders. I can also stop them from spawning by going here, and then only one will spawn. Should be the case. Go here, and if they don't go after Lucius, then they'll be going after Hector. Wolf Bale, let's do it. I could do Worm Slayer, but meh. Okay, we can start moving in here now. Alright. Let's do that. Oh, I can't quite get over to heal. Yeah, I think it'd be best just to leave it up to Lucius now. Maybe I can deliver him a tome here. For a little bit. Hold on. I could always put away the Uber Spear and then deliver him a thing. Maybe not take one out here. Yeah, maybe in fact I'll do that. I don't 
think I'm gonna need the Uber Spear. I'll save it for the, like the final map or something or other. Oops. That's fine though. Okay, just to make sure that I've moved everyone. So I'll manually control to the end here. That is so many guys. So many. Hello, hello, Karma Haunts you. How's it going today? I appreciate the follow there, Karma Haunts you. Appreciate it. All right, well, he's getting some things up. I know his magic and speed are maxed. Yeah, I was about to say, wait a second, this name seems familiar. <laughs> like, I'm, at first I was like, am I losing my mind? But nope. I'm, uh, I'm certainly not. They always want to go after Lucius, and he just does not care. Entire dad life too much work. That's understandable there. <laughs> understandable. Oh, and then those guys spawned. <laughs> Alright, nice shot. So now Lucius is gonna clean up a whole bunch, right? Come on, Lucius, clear the way. I'm depending on you. <laughs> My goodness. Yeah, that's what it seems like. I, Lucius does not care, though. Remotely. <laughs> My god! Ah, oh, he just comes short of one-shotting them. Yeah, I'm gonna have to deliver another tome to him, because his is gonna break here. Because he's gonna go through so many dang uses. To using divine, I believe. Whatever the pretty spicy tome is there. It didn't break, did it? Oh, there it goes. I think that's basically all the guys that could no more could have attacked him if he had double attacked there. I gotta deliver him a new tome. <laughs> this is what I gotta do. Ow. Maybe I should have healed you instead of Fiora. My god. Okay. Well, the laws of time and all that. Hector! I mean, I don't know, man. Could for sure kill one of these guys. This guy, maybe not so much. And they're just gonna attack Lucius and die. So, whatever. Take out this guy. What turn is it? Like, turn 10 or something, right? Okay. Yeah, it's turn 10. Okay. Should I just stop reinforcements from coming here? Be ready to dip out later, so a higher movement unit like Ella would. Can chill here for a hot second. I'll start making our way up. And can chill here too. But yeah. Animation skip? Oh, what? Well, just mean that I have combat animations turned off? Ooh, that's a nice level up for a unit that I don't use. Just because this would be like so unbearable. With combat animations on. Cool, but man, you see them thousands of times. Yeah, I love them. And when I'm dealing with this many enemies, like I'll turn them on towards the end and for the boss and stuff, because obviously, but uh, <laughs> yeah, maybe not here. I can get over to him. Okay. Let's leave on the silver lance, how about? Just in case those guys get any funny ideas about attacking her. All right, I'm putting the Uber Spear away because I don't think I need it. Oh, I guess I can, uh... Here, let's just do this then. I do have to keep on the Delphi shield because of the Ballista guys. Because, yeah, he's gonna go through a decent bit. I don't think he cares too much what he's using here. So screw it. Oh, but I won't be able to block that while trading here. Unfortunate, but what you gonna do? Okay, this guy's my bigger threat. Take him out. Get him out of here. Okay. Should be fine, I think. Probably be fine if they attack Nils, too. Considering his stats and stuff. But yeah. My Fire Emblem schedule around here is kind of crazy right now. So, essentially, what it was, was... I started Fire Emblem Fate's Birthright, like, Lewitt to Classic, and I was gonna do all three. I did my full playthrough of Birthright, and I was like, oh, next year I'll do Conquest. And then, uh, then Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes came out, and I was like, well, I'm doing this first, and then I'll do Fate's Conquest, Lewitt to Classic. 
I did one playthrough of Three Hopes. I said that I would do the other ones, but I don't know if I will. I don't know if I have the time. But I was like, all right, now that I've done at least one route, now I'll do Fate's Conquest, Limit to Classic next. And Fire Emblem Engage released. And then that uh, started taking up a whole bunch of my time and taking me way longer to get through than I thought it would. Um, but then I was like, but Fire Emblem Conquest, like, Limit to Classic is finally going to be the next thing. And then this got announced for Switch Online. And uh, I... <laughs> what happened, there was a similar thing that happened several years ago with Paper Mario, where it was on my to-do list, but it got announced for the stupid expansion thing, which I would need to pay $100 for to basically rent, like, family group in here in Canada, to essentially rent the game, which is a business practice that I, you know, I'm really not big on. I really don't want to pay 100 bucks to rent an entire library when there's only one game that I want to play. I'm not really big on that. So I hammed out my entire Paper Mario playthrough before, you know, it got added to Nintendo Switch Online so the Nintendo Ninjas wouldn't be able to hold me accountable um, to not playing the Switch version. And because this got announced for the Game Boy Advance expansion, I was like, oh, I'll get through it before it comes out for the Switch expansion. So I did Lin's story, but I wasn't done with Engage yet, so I went back and finished Engage and said I'll come back and do Hector Hard Mode sometime after. And by that time, you know, it had released on Switch Online and I kind of missed my little deadline there, but uh, whoops, whatever. So we're finishing off the rest of uh, Blazing Blade. And then finally, when this is done, I'm probably like, I have a lot of other games I do around here, but in terms of Fire Emblem, at least, finally, I should, I'm probably going to be able to do Conquest Limit to Classic, you know. Sacred Stones are your favorite, but it's too damn easy. Yeah, that was understandable there. But Sacred Stones is very much ahead of its time. I will eventually play if I have the time, but we'll see here. So after this, I'll probably do Conquest Limit to Classic. And then the next Fire Emblem playthrough after that would probably be Binding Blade, since, you know, continuation of the story. And then maybe I do Fate's Revelations Limit to Classic. And then maybe Sacred Stones? Like, go through alternating like that or something? Maybe? That's an idea I have in the back of my head, at least. I thought I was missing HP for a second there on Sane. So I'm thinking something like that, but you know, I have a lot of other things there. Yeah, basically this, but yeah. Yeah, I was ahead of its time with the world map and stuff there, being more like a uh, kind of modern FE and all that. They're not gonna make it here, right? Just making sure that they're not crazy in regards to how much they'd be able to move through forests and stuff. All right, anyone over here need heals? Well, Renault definitely does. Here, let's go ahead and do this. So yeah, I mean, if I go to my uh, stream schedule channel in uh, in Discord here, yeah, it is pretty neato. Like, uh, let's see here. In terms of stuff that's upcoming, I'll just full screen Discord here. the The current stream schedule isn't quite updated because I recently actually beat the most recent DLC for Mario Plus Rabbids and Detective Pikachu, so those are done. Um, it's basically just this and trying to 100% Pikmin 4 now, and then I'll get to these side projects when I have the time to do it. That's why I labeled them here differently. But in terms of stuff coming up, it's currently, I guess, the 8th. Um, so in a few days from now, there's going to be Super Bomberman R2. I'll go through that. I should be able to beat that in one session. There's going to be the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet DLC. De the Detective Pikachu sequel comes out in October, and I just cleared the first game, so, you know, I'm through with that. It's going to be Super Mario Bros. Wonder. I probably won't do this right in October. I've already done Metal Gear Solid 1, and this includes 1, 2, and 3. I'll probably do 2 sometime in November for a 24-hour cherry stream, since I did 1 in May for a 24-hour cherry stream. And then I just won't do 3, because they're releasing a 3 remake, so I'll just wait until that happens. Um, Halloween the game this year, I'd love to do Luigi's Mansion. There's a few things coming out in November that I'd like to play. I can probably do this in one session. These are gonna take me a little while, though, to get through. Um, this will be coming out at some point here. Maybe I'll cover this if I have time this year, and then sometime next year if I have the time to cover it in February. This is probably gonna take me, like, three years, you know. So that's just stuff that's coming up in terms of new releases, you know. This is just, because I cover new things as they come out. In terms of things that I want to cover in general, there's just a lot more things that I would love to cover in general. Like, I'd love to cover the Fire Emblem series as much as I can, but who knows how much time I have for it. <laughs> we'll see here. I'd love to go through all the Mario RPG games. I've done I've done Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga and Bowser Inside Story. So I have three more Mario and Luigi games, and I believe I have like four or five more Paper Mario games. I've only done the first Paper Mario game on the channel. So next up I have the Thousand Year Door, which I'm really looking forward to. I love the Thousand Year Door. So I'll but all these old releases I just kind of play 
whenever I have the time to play them. New releases, I try to cover right when they come out, since that's, you know, when people are interested in checking them out. Like, hey, look, here's this new release. Let's see what's going on over there and all that. Um, oh, should I? Nah, maybe I won't go there with a bow. Um, like, I'll cover new releases when they come out and try to clear my queue enough in preparation, but everything that's on my mental list for old releases, I just kind of cover when I have time to cover, you know? Which is all over the place. So I'd love to go through all the Mario RPG games. One of my biggest projects is going through every single Assassin's Creed game in order. I started that at the beginning of 2020 with Assassin's Creed 1, and that includes the spin-offs. The only ones I have not been doing are the freemium apps. And I just got through Origins earlier this year, which means that all that I have left now are Odyssey, Valhalla, and there's a new one coming out this year, a Mirage, I think it's called. So I'm almost caught up. I'm almost caught up all the way. But, you know, I should try my best to go through at least two games a year, because if I'm going through only one, then they release them at the same pace that I'm going through them. So in terms of old releases that are higher on my priority list, I wouldn't mind doing Assassin's Creed Odyssey this year, but I don't know if I have the time. We'll see. Because, yeah, I gotta go through them faster than they release them. Oh, that guy's dipping out. But, yeah, Persona 3 getting that remake next year, too. Yeah, I covered Persona 5 when it released on the Switch, which was, like, last year, October. My God, that game took me a long time. That was the longest single playthrough I've ever done. The longest playthrough I've ever done was three houses, all four routes. But in terms of just one playthrough, not multiple, Persona 5 became the longest series I'd ever done. Like, my God. But I really loved it. It was, it was honestly a blast. So it's like, all right, I'd say I'm a Persona fan now. Maybe I'll cover the new thing for Bob when it's out here. So if I have the time, that is so many Valkyries. My God. But yeah, you feel it pretty heavy on stream for a bit, but now the tallest story of time really only speed run horribly, but that takes time, you know? Yeah, that's kind of me with making video essays. By far, the thing that, you know, most people know my channel for is my video essays that I do, namely my Pokemon essays and my Roller Coaster Tycoon one to an extent. Um, they're gonna pour better in your opinion, but that's nostalgia talking. Maybe I'll find out when I play three and then four down the line. So yeah, the Persona series is another one that I'd love to go through when I have the time here. Um, but hold on, let's see here. If I pull out my thing Bob, here's just my engage spreadsheet. I'll open a new tab here with my thing Bob. Like, I know the feel of having time taken up. Like, the thing, like I was saying, the thing that most people know my channel for is my video essays. And, uh, I'm sure this will be fine. Like, this is what I gain the most traction on, is my video essay kind of stuff here. Hello, hello, John Wildcat. How's it going today? Uh, you just get to see a little bit of the game. Like, my Pokemon essays especially are the ones that have garnered a lot of attention here. But the most recent one that I did that came out four months ago here is a seven hour long video essay, and it took me seven months to make. My god, like, the amount of time that went into that was absolutely insane. Even just, like, short half an hour ones. I didn't edit this one, but even just, this was one that I edited. Even ones like this that are shorter, you know, still take quite a little bit of time investment. And considering I'm in my final year of university that I'm trying to wrap up a whole bunch of stuff, um, and stuff is getting really crazy schedule-wise, in addition to other projects that I'm doing here, I, uh... You know, I don't think I'm doing any more video essays for the rest of this year, and it'll probably be a little bit into next year before I make another video essay. So, you know, right now, I'm just content with playthrough stuff. So, you know, playthrough is like my secondary kind of stuff here. <laughs> you know, video essays are kind of my bigger things. I am not making any new video essays for the rest of this year. I just do not have the time, <laughs> you know? So... I don't know when the next time I'm gonna make one is. Maybe I can come up with some smaller ones that I can work on a little bit on the side. I don't know, but I'm I'm not making any of those. And, you know, I've I've disclosed around my community, like, in terms of the playthroughs in the game queue, I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to do. I'm going to try my best, but we'll see what I can do. And Sacred Stones is actually something that other people have asked me about before. So my answer is always like, yeah, I'd love to do it eventually, but it might not be for years, honestly. Like, <laughs> it's a little bit of a mess. Should I just, like, hold on. Should I just get, like, a sword poke here? Something like that? But yeah, absolutely nothing is what's going on. It redeems a whole lot of absolutely nothing there. But yeah, three broke your soul. Definitely way darker than four and five. Okay, well, I'll look forward to experiencing it here. Hold on. Can I? Ooh. Then I can move Lucius even more in there. I'm not trapped in here with you. You're trapped in here with me. I'd love to do it eventually, but... Who knows when? I'm gonna do this just for some extra insurance, I think. 
as well I'll do. There's so many things I'd love to get to and a lot of different games that people have asked like, so what are you gonna get to this in this series? I'm like, it's gonna be a while. Like if I just committed to one series and that's it, like one IP, then I could probably get through things like pretty fast and you know, move on to like new titles with some decent speed. But because I play a little bit of everything, you know, it, it ends up being kind of slow. Nice. Maybe I should have used, no, I, I didn't have any other options I could use there anyway. Um, Super stack with the schedule. Literally only playing Baldur's Gate 3 and Elden Ring right now. Baldur's Gate 3 is another one that I probably would have played if I have if I had the time for it, but I just don't. So I'm a speed run because it's too hard to do VR when the toddler roams. I have to worry about the real life hazard there. All right, I guess we'll start moving up. Persona 4 is your favorite by far as Persona 5 has issues. It's just as poor pacing. I haven't played 3, but 4 is amazing. Yeah, I wouldn't say that Persona 5 was perfect when I played it. Like, I definitely did have some complaints with it. But I really liked it. I quite enjoyed it. And it was my first time ever playing a Persona game. You know, so maybe that's biased talking because I don't have any other Persona games to, like, reference it to. And I'll look forward to trying out Persona 5 Tactica. It seems like it's kind of in the style of, like, XCOM slash Mario plus Rabbids. And it'll be a nice break from Fire Emblem for, like, a little bit of a different strategy game, you know? But your stuff is already maxed. I don't, I don't need to do that. It's fine. Let's start schmooving in here. Yeah, let's see. Give it a go, Raven. If you like four but enjoy Dark Tones, probably like three more. Okay. Well, if I have the time, I'll definitely look forward to trying it out. Uh, I guess Merlinus will just chill there in that case. But he'll do. So, yeah. I'm on turn 11. I'll get up there. It'll be fine. Um. But yeah, the, uh, the schedule is a... I will take your life and your essence. Good luck hitting Lucius. All for the sake of my master. Oh, you actually hit him. Okay, cool. Well, <laughs> well, maybe Lucius can eat those hits instead of someone else that would take more damage. Here's hoping he just dodges everything, but we'll see. <laughs> we shall see here. But yeah, they have dungeons. It's a tower. That's basically the biggest difference. Huh, okay. Or instead of palaces there, we go through towers. Well, then I'll look forward to climbing a whole bunch of towers. But yeah, in terms of other projects and stuff around here, earlier today, I uh, managed to achieve like a really, really cool goal in terms of other things I've been working at that keep me busy. I, uh, I've been training in Taekwondo on the side since I was four years old, but ever since COVID, my training has been very on and off. So for the past few weeks, I've been trying to go back into uh, semi-regular training again. As the case, try to get back into shape after all that. There have been some times I've been training here and there and trying to get back into it throughout COVID, but now I feel like I'm really trying to commit, and that's another reason why I won't have time for video essays and some more playthrough stuff for a while, because I want to get back properly into shape. A fellow martial arts. Oh, she's nice. What kind of martial arts, if you don't mind me asking? And uh, so I'm trying to get into that again, and... So I only went back for the first time in a little bit over a month, uh, a couple weeks ago. And I found out that there was a black belt retesting coming up. Another chance to get the next rank. And, uh, you know, it's been a little while, but I went in and I managed to do it. And that's why I want to stream tonight because I'm absolutely hyped because I conquered this challenge right here of uh, like, this is 12 board halves, but you know, was six boards. I was testing for third degree black belt, which uh, I've been stumped on since I was 19 years old. I'm 24 now. So, you know, after uh, after succumbing to uh, injury, getting me stuck in physiotherapy for half a year and then COVID-19 starting shortly after, I uh, it kind of halted my plans there for a little while. But finally, the thing that I was stumped on of power back kick for six boards, I finally did earlier today. Took me a few tries, my right foot is pretty sore. I just started streaming in my uniform here, just because like, I, I just wanted to come home, I was hyped. I just wanted to do a stream and, you know, conquer another difficult challenge here, but one in a video game and just take it easy tonight. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty hyped about that. I appreciate that. So yeah, that was definitely the most difficult physical challenge of my life. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So wow, well, if I take out one more here. Yeah, so, uh. Yay thick of wood then, I guess. So I'm pretty hyped. I don't know if I'm gonna do something this cool ever again, you know? And it wasn't even recorded. <laughs> My scissor round in midair from a year ago was recorded, but uh, I have a whole bunch of failed attempts at this. 
on on Vigia, but you know, it didn't even feel real when I broke it there. You know, because I've done so many attempts and I've had like the boards fall from the little metal contraption that holds them in place before and you know, I was looking at that like, wait, are all of them broken? And they were, and I was friggin' hyped, and I'm in a fantastic mood tonight. This is why I want to strim and a strim. Keep on murderizing these guys. So, yeah, tonight is a, tonight is a hype night for me. So we're streaming Fire Emblem. Is <laughs> what's going on. But yeah, let's see here. But yeah, Jujitsu and Karai, nice, but it's been a couple of years since you actively kept up, yeah. That's understandable after, like, COVID and everything. It's the case for a lot of people there, ever since the newborn. And that would explain things, too, there. But yeah, I just started gymming again, nice, so you know the pain of that break rust. Yeah, and I, I was worried, like, man, should I really reattempt this when I've only been back in training for, like, a couple weeks now? I mean, I was active in my month away, like, exploring around with my international friendos and all that. Like, we did a lot of hiking and stuff, but, uh, I wasn't 100% sure if I'd be able to do it. But I was like, you know, there's literally no downside in trying. Let's just try it. And it worked. And I was like, oh, cool. Should I deliver another tome? He is kind of going through things here a little bit. But yeah, like, whoa, well, pudgy and turn slow. <laughs> yeah, it starts to uh, starts to take a toll after a little while. Kids are great, but <laughs> but going out is shape hard. Yeah, that's understandable there. And like, Persona 5 can be split up by pre Futaba's Palace and post or pre is just kind of like a ton of seven, very little actual story that will be relevant that I assume that's meant to say will not actually be relevant other than little hints of oh there's an evil villain doing evil things that's fair that is fair it does feel like a game that's a lot more focused on its characters than uh hmm I guess I can physic him again is what I can do sure I'll do it just to be safe I'll give it a go but yeah no mystery either in Persona 5 yeah that's fair enough there like if I hadn't caught on to the hints, I wouldn't have realized a sketchy was so sketchy. But, you know, I, I did catch on to them a bit, and I was like, wait a second. Things aren't adding up here. Hold on. Here, let's just do this so that this guy will die on enemy phase. Stuff. Um, I'll start moving in. Yeah, let's grab him some more things. Let's grab a shine and a divine, how about? That's what we can do. Okay. Let's go here. Let's equip this. They're probably not going to want to go after him. I'd be surprised if they did want to. Sure, just chill there with the fire. I'll have some other units to deal with that later. Should I just... There's only a couple dudos. Should I just start moving up? There's probably going to be more dudos that spawn from down low, but I... Whatever. I'm sure it'll be fine. Let's see here. We up we go. <laughs> yeah, let's uh, let's just rush him on hard mode as we do. Wait, well, let's hear three S big twist you never saw coming, or three S big twist you never actually saw coming. And accidentally got a pet Eddie because he didn't know his small story notes. Yeah, I probably will just look up how do I get best ending. Like that at least I might do a little bit of research into. Uh, main thing you like about Persona 4 is you really love the social links and the characters and just highlight out Persona 3 is anywhere near as good from the stuff you've heard and Persona 5 had okay characters for the most part. Nothing special and the social links or confidants in Persona 5 were also uh, nowhere near as good as Persona 4 is. Just really love Persona 4's social links. I liked most of the main party in uh, Persona 5. The other confidants on the side I thought were pretty okay. Well, another level up there. But yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I do want to avoid spoilers as best I can, but, you know, I do want to know at least what I need to do for best ending. That's what I did for Persona 5, is I did manage to look up spoiler-free guides of just what things do I need to keep in mind to get best ending, and I managed to do that, which was, you know, good. <laughs> good to do there, and I might just do that with Persona 3 as well. Is what I'm thinking here. That was my plan. Nice miss! Really, I'm just guessing who the bad guy is correctly. That's all it is, so if you hit this... So once you hit that spot, if you didn't figure it out, Google. I don't know if they're the actual main, main villain, but I know about at least one twist villain in Persona 4 just because of, like, memes that I've seen. And I was like, well, I guess that's unfortunate. That's spoiled for me. So, Noah, I know about, like, one sketchy dudo that isn't nice to you, but I don't know if he's, like, the main big bad or anything. Yeah, this is a lot of guys. Want any spoiler-free stuff for Persona 4 Gold? <laughs> you have no intent about the game, you know about a bad ending. Don't think many people know... Well, I get to know about... Okay. I may just end up taking you up on that at some point, potentially. 
Yeah, should I? Maybe I'll move Priscilla or Kainas up there or something like that. Everyone's all endings are lit too, so they might be worth pursuing. Priscilla might well get to 2020 as well. I might well have two characters that got to 2020. That's gonna be pretty satisfying. Okay, I <laughs> I gotta rush to Well, I don't have to rush to Limstella there. As long as I do it within 20 turns, I'm good. I have no idea what state I'm on, so I'm just saving there. No reinforcements here, and it looks like these guys are drying up. That's good. That's pretty good, right? Can I delete this guy? Sweet. But yeah, not a fan of one or two, but nothing like three, four, five. Yeah, I usually, whenever I do series on this channel, I'll, whoops, oftentimes do them in order. And sometimes that goes to extremes even. Like the Metal Gear series, I went through all three of the retro games from like the 80s and early 90s, which were interesting, but maybe not very fun um, before the Metal Gear Solid games. So the doing things in order that I do around here sometimes goes to extremes, but when Persona, when Persona 5 was coming up, like, one, it was coming up soon enough that I wouldn't have time to do the earlier ones in time before anyway. But people were just telling me, don't play one or two. It's not worth it. Just don't do it. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I guess I won't. But yeah. Ooh. Okay, just plus two there. You'll for sure be in chat as much Persona 4 golden streams of yours as you can. It is going to be a while before I'm able, ever able to get to Persona 4. Like, three will be next if I have the time even. But uh, here, let's keep moving forward. So it might be a hot second before I uh, before I get to four. I would like to one day, but who knows how much stuff that I'd like to one day I'll be able to get to. We'll see. As you really love the game and finally get around to 100%ing it right now, to be honest, nice. It's kind of a huge undertaking. What all the Persona games? Aren't you don't have social links, school, etc. It's all battles and exploring. So it sounds like it get really repetitive. Stories are decent though. World ending shit. Oh. I, the reason I read that in my head as if it was like shit as in bad where it's like world ending shit But no world ending shit in terms of like the topic. I Misread for a second there. I don't know equip this Zombies the other persona users out for personal gain the stories are wild, but that's all they are combat and exploring, huh? Intriguing though All right Keep moving in here Lucius. Wait, what is the uh, hit rate? All right, they have a decent chance of hitting, but they barely do any damage. What? You have three more uses of that. Okay. How about I make a special delivery here? Take this stuff. Take it. There you go. Let me chill here. Can I? Can't quite get anyone else in there right now. Should I just? Should I just keep body blocking here for now then? Or something. Here, let's see. Because Lucius is not doing a whole lot of damage to these guys. I mean, Fiora really doesn't have to worry about the magical attacks. Silver Sword. She will be at a disadvantage, but like... Then a good opportunity to max that out, I guess, right? Curiosity. I'm not doubling with that. I double with this. The lightning. Here, let's just do this. Oh, nice! There goes one of them. Cool. Yeah, I'm gonna need to use physic uses here. But yeah, ones who are just not all like Persona 3 to 5. Also, finding a copy of one with all endings and not censored to hell. A bag with a full ending cut due to censorship isn't very fun. Oh. <laughs> what doesn't have Hitler in it? What, does two or something? Should we Hitler with glasses one day? What? Is that a thing in Persona? <laughs> you what now? Hitler with glasses? You what? Alright, let's do that. Sweet. They censored so much. Oh. <laughs> Sounds pretty ridiculous on paper here. Sure, just do that. There we go, cool. Whole bunch of experience and stuff. What did you have again? Oh, you have a fortify. I'll gladly shove that in the convoy later. Heck, maybe I should even just like, let's see here. No, dang it. I was going to take stuff out too. Whatever. All right. We're going to get ready to be schmooving in and stuff. Here, just take out this dudo. 
Did Germany censor anything to do with Nazis? They had to give Hitler glasses and pretend he's a totally different character and not Hitler. <laughs> that actually that sounds amazing. Not really much closer I can move here. I'll just wait anyway just to make sure that I moved everyone. Nice! Come on, let's get that. Dang it. That Essence Swords. It's actually amazing, it sounds like it. So what was that in then? Persona 1, Persona 2. Wow. Imagine Oswin doubling. What kind of crazy world do we live in, man? Okay. In Persona 2, okay. <laughs> sounds like quite the trip. Yeah. Lucius is just the most amazing cleanup squad here. Nice miss. <coughs> I would have lost my mind if he doubled a flyer. I watch your buddy play him here and there and beams. <laughs> Decently meme worthy then. This is so many dudos. This is so many of them. Oh my god. <laughs> what turn is it? It's turn 14. I have no idea what slot I'm in, so I'm just choosing three. Screw it. I kind of need to bust a hole through here. So let's see here. I don't think we need to worry about Fior taking any magical damage at all. Can I post a pick in your Discord of him? Alright. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, How about Satan busts our hole. All right, go, go, go! All right. Canis is gonna have an advantage against those dudos, so it's probably not gonna care too much. I don't think. All right, Bartre. Wait. No, Bartre can't get that one, so let's just do this. Actually, mostly into weird niche games. God Hand, Deadly Premonition, Space Station 13, Dwarf Fortress, Kenshi, No More Heroes, Killer 7. Like the weird Overim World 2, love them RTS. There's only a couple in there that I've heard about myself. Speaking of weird niche games, in one of my, uh, I was mentioning it, I think, a little bit during the last stream, where they're in this current game design class that I'm in, there's a whole bunch of lessons, and we have to write a few reports throughout the term on, like, various lessons here. And there's a list with each lesson of games that you could relate to it, or, you know, just ask the professor, like, hey, can I write on this game instead, because I think it relates to that topic enough. So I made like a list of like short games I was thinking about playing at some point anyway that I can do for the sake of, you know, writing and a short paper on it for this class, like short little reports and stuff. And there's definitely a few games that I wouldn't mind doing for that. So the game schedule this semester might be a little bit crazier because of that. Like I'm probably going to play Firewatch tomorrow, which I've heard good things about. I don't really know much about it, but I was planning on doing it this last May for the 24 hour cherry stream and I just didn't have time. So, you know, the fact that it's one of the options in this uh, upcoming lesson here, it's like, oh, well, here's my excuse to play it, I guess, you know, is the case. And then maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll write a report on it. But yeah, see, so Seth on YouTube does reviews. I'm not familiar with that channel there. I'm not quite familiar myself. Um, hmm. Let's move Renault here for now or something. How about, you know, I move over here. Well, Oswin holds down the fort over here. I mean, most of the games you listed, super huge reviewers, super offensive. <laughs> but, uh... Sometimes it can be really cool to hear about, like, you know, weird niche games and stuff like that. You know? <laughs> like, I see memes around sometimes of, like, Sorry, I can't tonight, honey. I've got to watch a four-hour video essay from of a game that I've never heard about before. I think I've only done one super long one on a video game that most people have never heard of, and that was this, like, weird Pokemon NFT spin-off thing called Pixelmon that my head instructor of my Taekwondo school told me about it when the NFTs were taking off. It's just like, oh yeah, that whole NFT thing. Since you do video essay on Pokemon, you should look into Pixelmon. Not to get confused with the Minecraft mod that they totally stole the name from. And my goodness, what an absolute mess. It was actually really fun looking into it. It was... wow. <laughs> it was a little bit of craziness and a lot of people lost a lot of money in it <laughs> I got to watch it all happen as it unfolded it was uh it was certainly something but yeah uh who haven't I moved here what 
Oh, okay. Man, yeah, let's see here. God hands while your top spent is beyond wild. Can't even really explain it. Uh, brawler, each individual move can be chosen. The humor is beyond wild. Can't even do it just to describe it. One of the wackiest things I've ever seen. So be the kind of thing I need to look at firsthand here. Okay, hold on. Let me have a look in Discord here. Assume it'd be in other games. <laughs> Ah, yes, I'm cool with the kids now, yeah? I don't know. <laughs> well. <laughs> well. If your interest, just search instead of YouTube. I'm always down on checking out, like, other video essays and stuff. You know, getting some new ideas for my long video essays when I eventually have the time to do them again. I actually meant to do this for Lynn, but okay, here you go, Merlinus. I guess. Oh, and I forgot to access the convoy with Renault and stuff. But yeah. And yeah, I I wasn't taking that as like, you have to see it <laughs> no matter what, or else I'm gonna claim your firstborn or anything like that. But uh, but yeah, may have something that I would consider checking out if I have the time. You know, whenever anybody gives me game recommendations around here, I have to be like, you know, my schedule is so insane that, you know, I appreciate you telling me a little bit about things, but I cannot take game recommendations. Things that I can do on the side though, like watching things that I could do on the side of like, you know, editing my own stuff. Ooh, ooh, nice. That I can sometimes do. So like whenever people recommend me like animes, for example, like that I can add to my mental cue and maybe actually get the chance to do. Like that I actually have a chance of checking out. Whenever people recommend me games, I basically have no chance of checking it out. But passive things that I can do on the side, that I can, that I can sometimes do. You know, <laughs> I have to make Hitler cool looking. <laughs> Who knows, man? It's a good question. Something I'm sure we all ask ourselves every day. But yeah, I should see Cruelty Squad, by far weirdest game you've ever played. Like, just the trailer and nothing else. <laughs> just to get a little bit of an idea there. Boopity bop. Always down for seeing little smidges of weird games. I should take out these flyers because they can do physical damage. So they're like my biggest threat there. I have no idea what slot I'm in, so I'm choosing four. <laughs> what is this, man? What turn am I on? 15, so I need to defeat her before turn 20 there. VOD will now be demonetized. If there's like some sort of system that automatically detects like what's being said, you know, we'll see here. Hey man, mechanics looks like golden eyes <laughs> of LSD Dusex augment system. You what? It does sound amazing though, let's face it. Um. Yeah, should I just like Can I kill you with magic with anyone, though? Oh, I sure can. Even if you hit this, I'll live. Oh, I got a crit! This bud's visually overwhelming, huh? Can I? No, I can't quite get up there yet. So I guess I'll do this. Here you go, Kanas. Here you go. Okay. <laughs> um. Huh. Yeah, all my, I have most of my main magic uses up here. All right, let's move Hector here. Let's get Priscilla at the ready to move in here and all that. Wait. Oh, I am, I might just be able to, uh, here, let's see. If I do this, I just move Ella Wood like here. And then I move Nil here, like this. I'm gonna have Bartray thin out some numbers here. Eh. Here, do this, script. Yeah. I thought he crit me at first and he had a two-range weapon super type mechanics with the worst visuals you've ever seen. It's like a gem disguised as a ship post. Wanna well, know my favorite, like, <laughs> weird game that's like, this is a thing that exists that I've played in recent times was. So as I've been going through the Metal Gear series, uh, there was one game that I wasn't sure whether I'd play and it's called Snake's Revenge Metal Gear 2. So, you know, there's the original Metal Gear and then there's Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake. But what most people don't know about is there's also Snake's Revenge Metal Gear 2, which they made the original Metal Gear um, on the MSX, and then they got a team to make an NES version with a whole bunch of differences, which seemed to do pretty well. So then Konami got the NES team to make a new original game that had nothing to do with Kojima. 
and it was just gonna be for Western audiences. So they tried to make it as much like they would think would sell in the West as possible. So of course it only has Metal Gear at the end and in the actual box art title, it only says Snake's Revenge. Not because Snake's getting revenge for anything. He's not getting revenge for anything at all in the story. They just thought revenge was a cool buzzword that would sell units in the West. And then if you look at like the art of the game, Snake is uh, being like, you know, more of a, uh, I don't know how you describe him, a thinner but semi-muscular sneaky kind of guy. And said he's just like super buffed up. He's swole. He's got like the super crazy six pack. He's got weapons of the yin yang. It's, <laughs> it's so funny. It cracks me up. Hold on, let's look it up. Snake's Revenge. And out of the three NES Metal Gear games of Metal Gear, Snake's Revenge, Metal Gear 2, and Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake, I could not beat Metal Gear or Metal Gear 2. Like, I got towards the end. I'm just like, this is so infuriating. I have to do so much backtracking. Let's just look up on YouTube the rest so I didn't actually beat it myself. Snake's Revenge is the only one that I beat. I don't know how this is the only one of the retro Metal Gear games that I beat. Look, it's so niche that there's my thumbnail. <laughs> I don't feel the Western audiences. Here we Snake's Revenge and there's me. There's my hat. <laughs> it's so funny. Look, there's Snake. <laughs> As everyone knows, Snake clearly looks like. Apparently he's a lieutenant in this game. Lute so this game obviously isn't canon. Lieutenant Snarl and Solid Snake is a martial arts expert. He destroyed Metal Gear 1 and is now Operation 747 leader. It's awesome. Look at this box art. Hold on, is there a full one? Uh, it's kind of difficult to see here. But yeah, there's Snake, so he's jacked up. And I swear he's even more jacked up in-game. Like the box art doesn't do him justice. Look how extra jacked up he is actually in-game. It's amazing. <laughs> I love it so much. Even his sprite in game. Hold on. Can we see the sprite? Barely here. Hold on. Like, he's huge. Like, look how tiny his legs are. And then he's just huge. If we could see a bigger image, that would be amazing. You know? <laughs> Psycho Man just is fan fiction. Yeah. It should well. It might well be there. Hold on. I wish there was a bigger one here. Oh, this is a little bit better. So like the tiny legs, and then you can see, like even with like the limitations on how many pixels could be on the screen at once, they made sure to make it clear that Snake was freaking buff. So I think Snake's Revenge is now like one of my favorite, <laughs> just wacky old games. And what's really crazy is this never got a re-release later. When, uh, you know, like, obviously things like Metal Gear 1 and Metal Gear 2, like, the official canon games would get, like, re-releases and collections. But, Metal Gear Master Collection. This thing that's coming out later this year, Metal Gear Solid Master Collection, uh, the volume one here. Uh, yeah. No, not French! Darn you. And to your birthday, uh, 1968, that, that, submit in this master collection that's coming out this October. In addition to the first three Metal Gear Solid- Yeah, I totally doxed myself. That's totally when I was born. Um, coming out on the 24th of October. Hold on. Where does it show all the games? Hold on. I swear it said Snake's Revenge was here too. Hold on. Maybe it's just showing these because it doesn't want to bring attention to Snake's Revenge. But I swear. Yeah, the original Metal Gear, Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake. Metal Gear Solid. No, I swear Snake's Revenge was in here. I could have sworn. Am I going crazy? I could have sworn. But there it is. Bonus content. Snake's Revenge. Okay, it wasn't Mandela Effect. Okay, I'm not going crazy. They just don't want to bring attention to it. You know, they want the attention to be like, this is the story. These are the canon games. You know, here's Metal Gear and then Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake. And then like the first three Metal Gear Solid titles. But there it is in bonus content. I think I could be wrong on this. You know, I'm still pretty new to the Metal Gear series. But I'm fairly certain that this is going to be like the first official release of Snake's Revenge since it originally came out. Which, I'm freaking hyped for it. You <laughs> know, I am so hyped that Snake's Revenge is going to be shared with the world instead of just being like an, a forgotten gem here. You know, obviously they don't want to outline it here. I sure hope not. I mean, the original game is already kind of, you know, not so great to play. I mean, I'm saying that as it's the only retro Metal Gear game that I've beaten. But I love Snake's Revenge. It's so good. Anyone watching this that is planning on picking up the Master Collection, like, you don't have to beat it, but at least try playing a little bit about it, and a little bit of it, and you won't regret it. It's so good. 
but yeah so apparently in terms of timeline this came out then the, you know the nes version and then the nes team made snake's revenge and then while snake's revenge was in production kojima the actual director here heard about that he was like what the heck i wasn't told about that how about i make my own sequel and apparently metal gear 2 solid snake came to be because he heard about the production of this and was like i i'm gonna do it myself and make my own official sequel you know was the case so apparently that's uh that's how it came to be supposedly so yeah i uh i'm i'm hyped for this <laughs> i i've already done a full playthrough of snake's revenge so i won't do it again but man i can't believe that snake's revenge is getting an official release coming up here i'm so excited you know <laughs> but yeah konami has left you with a little faith over the yeah that's fair that's more than fair there can i punch a hole in here somehow would who would dodge a whole bunch of things Hold on, can I just like... Hellfire. Dang it. Not too many dudos would be able to attack him from here anyway, right? Hold on. <sighs> wow, okay. You guys are not punching a hole to navigate around to this flyer, huh? I've already used Nils this turn. All right, let's see here. Sure, let's start whittling away at these guys. Yeah, could you just fucking legend man? Yeah, that's why I keep on hearing. And from even just the smidge that I've played thus far, only the retro games up to Metal Gear Solid, the first one, even with only that as my experience, like, I, I can agree there. But yeah, I love Death Stranding and the PT trailer. I, I never played Death Stranding myself. I watched all the cutscenes for it and I thought it was intriguing. I heard that apparently it can get like, really dragging on in the middle and even just watching all the cutscenes and the entire middle like hours just being like oh thank you for your delivery and all that over and over i found myself getting bored even watching the cutscenes there hopefully death stranding 2 isn't quite like that i mean and i wouldn't know how much it's like you know how much it drags on gameplay wise considering i haven't played death stranding maybe i will one day hold on give me the the, the thing give to me the that in case i really need to use it and then give me that. Cool. Thanks. All right. And then I want to get, no, a little bit of sword experience here. Come on. But every demos was a rant team probably have finished this by now. Now I love chatting about random crap, <laughs> you know. <gasps> That's what streams are all about. If I didn't want to chat about random crap sometimes, I would just pre-record these for YouTube. I wouldn't stream them, you know? So I don't care. You know, you know it, it also depends on the context. If I'm like right in the middle of like a heavily intense story section of a, of a game and people want to like rant about stuff, I'm just like, yeah, I, I can't do that right now. I've got to read out all the dialogue, see what's going on in the story. But something like this where it's just like, there's no current text in game. I'm just, you know, playing. This is the perfect time for rambling. So, you know, sometimes when there's a whole bunch of story stuff going on, sometimes I do have to tell people like, I'm sorry, I can't really reply and chat about things right now because, you know, there's stuff going on here. But times like this, Fire Emblem is great for chatting about things. Assuming I don't get so distracted that I misplay, which happens sometimes, but whatever, that's part of the fun. <laughs> you know, but yeah, let's see here. Definitive Edition helps with, oh, I got a crit. Early speed boost, play the OG version first. Yeah, man, drags on because of slow movement. Hmm. Throw misting. Actually, apparently it wasn't just Germany who got cool Hitler with sunglasses. Apparently it was every region, but only the PSP remake. The original definitively never came to Germany though, but the remake did. Huh. Yeah, definitely understandable. Have you had any losses yet? I'm not doing an Iron Man. If I lose someone, I reset. <laughs> this is the case here. Like, because of how crazy my game schedule is, I, you know, I don't do, I used to sometimes do some challenge runs in the early days of the channel, but ones that I would just keep on attempting until I won, you know, not the kind of things where I would just have to start from the beginning. I'm not, a, I'm not about that life. My game schedule is way too crazy as is. I can't imagine losing an actual playthrough straight up because I couldn't do like an Iron Man or something like that. Then it's like, well, if I want my full playthrough of Fire Emblem Blazing Blade, for example, to be complete, I need to start it all the way back from the beginning. I'm not about that. I'll still play on the hardest difficulties, but you know, I'll I'll reset if I have major losses. I'll use the powers of time here with save states because 
you know, I just do not have the time to be doing these things over and over and over again, you know. <laughs> Don't miss the grind, but now you have a different kind of grind. Yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> that's fair enough there. Like, I'll still, uh, I've actually never tried VR in my life. Never tried it before, so I have no idea what it's like there. Um, how many more Yusa bolting do you have? Oh, you're done! My, uh, my cousin has VR stuff at his place. I could maybe go over there one day and try VR stuff. But I've never tried it before. Can't say I have. How are you not maxed with axes, darn you, Raven? Come on, get it. Meh. Is he maxed on things, though? He's maxed on speed. Here, and then that other guy's gonna be forced to attack anyway. I just want to get sword up to S, darn it. But yeah, um, so the only challenge runs that I do around here are ones that, you know, I can just keep on trying until I get it. I think the craziest one I ever did on this channel was beating Undertale's genocide route while wearing oven mitts, which meant I could not feel the buttons on my keyboard at all. And my god, I had to attempt bosses for months <laughs> on and off. It was insane, but I eventually got it, <laughs> you know? It was, uh, uh, that was a little bit of mayhem. But, you know, nowadays I just kind of try to do, like, the hardest difficulty of games. Because I figure, you know, if I'm doing, like, an easier difficulty, but I want to do the hard difficulty later, then that's two playthroughs of the same game. And that could have been time spent doing two different playthroughs of two different games. And then I get more different stuff done. So why would I, uh, you know, do the same game multiple times unless there's different routes or something like that. So I figure let's just do one and done, do like a definitive playthrough right from the get go and always play on the hardest difficulty. So I played this game back in the day, like in junior high school, not back in the day when it first came out. I would have been way too young at that point. But uh, I played this in junior high school as my first ever Fire Emblem game. And I would have played through Ella Wood's story. And you know, I struggled back then because it was my first Fire Emblem. But never played Hector's story and I never played hard mode. And this is my first time trying them out. And I've actually had a lot of fun, apart from needing to use, like, the laws of time from time to time. And it's made me realize that I don't think I can imagine playing this game without save states. Kanas might actually get to 2020 here. Nice! That's what we like to see! Finally! Oh, time that Afa's drops actually put some work in there. Only recommend one game, Boneworks. It's a full physics engine with gunplay and melee puzzles, tons of combat. Hold on. Yeah! Um, and pretty much everything movable grab will have a full body in game. You can push enemies over, can head, but honestly, the best game you've ever played. I don't have to genocide route, you demon. I, I never want to do a full playthrough of a game with oven mitts ever again. I, when I do 24 hour charity streams, I usually have it as like a donation goal where if people donate to the charity that I'm fundraising for, like I'll wear oven mitts for like 10 minutes or something like that. <laughs> but, uh, I, I'm never doing a full playthrough in oven mitts again. Like, I... I, I'm past that life, <laughs> you know. I learned my lesson there. It was back when I was trying to find my niche when it came to content creation. Like, I started out doing multiplayer games and stuff a little bit, and then I started doing a little bit of playthrough stuff, but, you know, it wasn't garnering that much attention. Eventually, it turned out to be video essays that started garnering a decent bit of attention, but when I was still searching for my niche, things that I was doing included doing crazy challenge runs just to see if it would, uh, you know, garner attention by being like the one maniac on the interwebs that's done X thing. But it doesn't, it didn't really, it didn't really go much anywhere. Like, I tried playing through uh, Super Smash Bros. Brawl's Subspace Emissary on the hardest difficulty while using a Cabela's Wiimote rifle as my controller. Played through Super Luigi U using only one hand. Like, didn't use the other one at all. Did Undertale Genocide Route with oven mitts there. It's probably a couple others that I'm forgetting of here right now, but I did those main three, and then I was like, yeah, I don't know if this is going much of anywhere, and I kind of stopped. Because, you know, who's going to be looking up that kind of stuff, and it's not boosted in the algorithm or anything like that? So, I didn't, and I kept on searching for other niches and eventually settled on video essays. But if you look up Undertale Oven Mitts, I guarantee some stuff of mine will come up. That or maybe, like, some Etsy pages of people selling actual Undertale Oven Mitts. But in terms of videos and stuff, I guarantee you're just going to find my stuff <laughs> from so many years ago, which I find hilarious. If some random person has some weird inclination to look up Undertale of Amits one day, they'll just find me. <laughs> what turn is it? 17. All right, I got to start getting in here. But yeah, let's see here. It took you damn near two weeks to beat Zans. It was probably something like that back when I played Undertale for the first time before I was a content creator. You know, works also heavy parkour feels, yeah, can feel really nice in games like that, four days for Undying, yeah, they're not easy. 
And then when you can't feel the buttons, it's it's pain. So in case anyone wants to tune into videos of so many countless hours of pain, you know what to look at now. <laughs> Elden Ring with oven mitts. I I might have done smidges with it, maybe. If Elden Ring, because I did a long Elden Ring playthrough. If any of that overlapped with one of my 24 hour cherry streams, if I did a little bit of it during one of those 24 hour cherry streams, there's a chance I might have done smidges of Elden Ring oven mitts. But imagine doing a full playthrough. Like, my god. Ooh. Wait, why did I turn on combat animations? Oh my god! No, I want to see, like, if there's unique dialogue and stuff first. Dang it. Darn you. I just have to do it in 20 turns. So, like, kind of chill here. Here, I want to see unique dialogue with characters and stuff is what I want. That is what I want. I want the full story here. You know, so th that's kind of my way that I handle, <laughs> handle these games. I'll play on the hardest difficulty, but I'll use save states. I want to make it a definitive playthrough that showcases as much stuff as I can. And I want to I want to see the dialogue. Darn you. I want to see it. How are you not S and Axes? What gives? Get it. But yeah, you are indeed the top result. You just looked it up. Nice. Just... Darn it! Darn you! Yeah, VR parkour with John Wick-esque gameplay. That sounds kind of fun. Are you not gonna get to S here? Can it not get to S? You'd think if it couldn't get to S, that it would just stop me, like, at A. It wouldn't show a progress bar towards the next thing. You would think, at least. Maybe I'm completely wrong about that. I don't know. Let's see. Let's just skadoodle on this way. Sure. Get ready to clean up here on the next turn. Sure. But yeah. Um. Sure, go there. If anyone recommendation made tonight needs to stand out. No! Cadas, you're too strong! <laughs> Darn it. Okay, Lucius is just gonna do little taps, though. Like, he's not gonna kill. He won't, even if he's getting crits here. Okay, that's fine. I, I just want to see... I want, I want the plot! There's gotta be some unique dialogue, right? It's just gotta be. Surely. But yeah. This is definitely a bummer change your view on gaming entirely. It was like being a kid in a toy store for the first time. And <laughs> the speed runs. How long is it? Uh, honestly, you're surprised there isn't like a tutorial themed of a mid on Etsy or something that is higher than you as it seems like kind of an obvious idea. Yeah, you would think. But nope. Incident hasn't really given all that much attention to my Undertale Oven Mitts challenge, but apparently it has more so than any actual Undertale Oven Mitts. <laughs> Which I find hilarious. Okay, just... Rank up things, please. Imagine it turns out that I can't rank them up after all. But why would it show a progress bar? It doesn't make any sense. Oh, game speeders are 10 to 20 minutes. Regular play is about 4 to 8 hours, depending on how much you explore. Okay. So I kind of think that could still be, like, a session. A longer session, but still a session. Kind of like Firewatch that I plan on doing tomorrow. Ooh, hey, bah. So definitely a lot that could be explored then. I gotcha. Yeah, for a VR game, at least. If I had a VR headset. That was one of the things that I have debated about investing into for the channel. For like, maybe some fun content there. It might be fun to do some VR games. But, my I'm so busy with like, my game schedule as is. That it's like, I'm not running out of other things to play anytime soon. You know. So, I kind of haven't. <laughs> There's a tetherball pull early on. Oh, you can just smack around the tetherball. Okay. Let's see some stuff. No, not status. Wait, I guess I'll double check that. Yep, this will be under 20 turns here. Yeah, I'm just doing the uh, I'm just doing the one map tonight, I think. And then we'll beat the game next time. Is what we'll do, because this map is taking a while, and I gotta 
re-memorize my black belt oath that I don't think I've taken since I was 16 years old. <laughs> Again, <laughs> for third degree here. Because I'm going to, uh, I gotta be up at a decent hour to go to a color belt testing tomorrow to help out with it and, uh, and receive my third degree. Which will be cool. Because I like to give, uh, that's why they did the retesting today. Because there's a color belt testing tomorrow. To give people a chance to, you know, get to the next rank here. Because I like to present the next black belts to, uh, you know, and fry the color belts. To help, like, serve as inspiration and stuff like that to the next generation and all that. It's been about an hour there with the in-game radio dancing and smacking the ball around. Sounds like a great time. Seems like so I'm branding with Toriel and Undertale to a lesser extent food and cooking is a huge part of Undertale. Yeah, mining a bunch of characters of other characters and Toriel's pie literally being the biggest healing and just a bunch of stuff like that. Yeah, you think some people will make some uh, actual Undertale oven mitts, but what do I know? Toriel's in sleep so you're expecting a long night. Oh, you, you rest well though, brother. I appreciate it. But yeah, I will beat this. Hold on. I probably won't be getting any significant damage with Elwood. I just want to see dialogue and stuff. Is there nothing? There was nothing. What about Hector? Ooh, that's so cool, but I kind of really just want to spam the Brave Axe on the final thing, Bob, you know? There's got to be something. Is there actually nothing? Man, I feel so robbed. I could have just let Kanas get the kill there. Man. I feel so robbed, man. But yeah. Sacred Stones has a lot of that custom dialogue. <laughs> so you're saying that I could have been playing Sacred Stones. <laughs> right. So you've actually seen Elven Mitts based on Toriel? Yeah, I'm sure they exist. I'm sure they're around there somewhere. Nice. Ooh. Get another crit. Imagine if he did, though. I am not human. This body and this heart are constructs. Yet... As is this sorrow. Yes, as- wait, not yet. Did Lucius really need a EXP here though? Considering he's already maxed a couple things. Sweet, yeah, I'll use that in the last couple levels. So do I just need to like- Oh, it needs to be Hector, doesn't it? Well, dang it. Alright, let's see here. But yeah, like approaching a boss that wrecked your main knight early on with the with the knight has custom dialogue and the same boss is like five custom lines depending on who fights him. Oh, the crit! There's a whole bunch of things. There's a lot of characters who met him earlier. I want revenge. So deep tons of bosses have this feature. I wish there was some dialogue there. Hector being like, what the heck? You're like Nurgle's most powerful morph here? That's crazy, bro. Get him, Bartray. Phew. Oh, but it's a bow experience here. All right. How about we get like the last Oswin combat we'll probably have for the rest of the game. I don't think we've seen the general animations here at all, like with one of my allies. So might as well showcase them for the first time. Oh, he's going out with a bang. I love that retractable chain on the generals in this game. Well, in the Game Boy Advance games in general. It's so cool. Okay, can I get stupid sword stuff? But yeah, the betrayal dialogues are really good. Well, when I eventually get to Sacred Stones and everyone's finishing off with a crit. Wow. Everyone wants to go out with a bang here. I'm, I'm not getting that to S, am I? All right, we'll get the thing next turn. Like trying to talk the boss down that used to roll with you, but he can't because of sad things. He has to keep on going. All right, just in case I do something dumb and then don't do this in 20 turns. Is it 20 or under 20? This is 19, so like, we're good. Oh, this theme. Love this theme. It was a heated battle. It certainly was. It took me over two hours. It was like two and a half hours for this one map. So yeah, I'll definitely, I'll try to beat the game next stream. But yeah, this was an appropriate singular map to do for a stream, because my goodness. A long one. I thought it was going to go on forever. Phew. Yeah, it sure took a while, huh? It's not finished yet. Nurgle is waiting at the dragon's gate. Yeah, you're right. That's Roy. There he be. Nurgle, he must pay. Before we go to the dragon's gate. Nils, if you don't mind, would you share your story with us? Huh? I won't force you to if you don't want to. Okay, I'll tell you. I want you all to know about me and Ninian. A 
millennium ago. Man chased dragon kind from the land, exiled us. We had no place to go, not on this world. So we used the dragon's gate to flee into another world. When we passed through this chasm in space and time, many of us were lost. Still, we endured the journey. We found humans there too, but they were few in number. We had a few skirmishes, but at last, we found a home. We were stable there, happy even. But some thought back on our former home, when we did. His voice reached out to us. Ninian was a medium in the other world, an oracle of sorts. She sat at the dragon shrine. She held much power. We were in prayer at the shrine when it happened. We heard a voice calling to us from the dragon's gate. It was the voice of an old friend. We knew we weren't supposed to open the gate and return to this world. We had no idea that the owner of that voice was Nurgle. Nurgle. But something unexpected happened. When we opened the dragon's gate and traveled here again, we had lost almost all of our strength. The quintessence left within us was less even than that of an average human. In order to sustain ourselves, in order to breathe the air of this world, we took human form. We placed our energies within a dragon stone. But our dragon stone was taken, stolen. Nurgle hoped to hide to see and use it as a tool to summon other dragons. Until we escaped. We couldn't let our foolishness condemn our friends. Disguised as a dancer and a bard, we fled and wandered from country to country. That's when we first met Lady Lindis one year ago. That whole time, Nurgle was after you? Why didn't you tell me? You were so good to us. I didn't want to cause you any trouble. I noticed when the dialogue box is missing. How do you run or even move around with any speed much at all with what Ninian was wearing there? After we left Lynn at Kaelin, we were captured again. What? Barely have any space to move. We decide that the only way to escape was to cut short our own lives. That was when we met Lord Elbert. He was so strong, so kind. He knew that we were, and what we had- Wait, he knew what we were, and what we had done. And he never once condemned us. On the contrary, he tried to set us at ease with stories. Stories of his family, of his homeland. Ninian and I, we listened to his stories, and we grew to love his gentle wife and his son. Premonition, no, that is too strong a word, but we felt his son would be the one to save us. That's what we felt. That's why, that's why, Lord Ellawood. I believe in you. Even though Ninian's gone, I will continue to protect you. I have to. That... That's Ninian's wish. It's our wish. Let's stop Nurgle. You're the only one who can do it. Nils. Let's do it! Elowood! He's right. It's too early to give up. I mean, we're still here. We're still alive. Everyone. You're right. My friends are here with me. There's no power on this earth stronger than that. Let's go. The Dragon's Gate awaits. That's where we'll shatter Nurgle's ambitions. Yeah, except the side quest though. And apparently this is a Hector exclusive side quest that we have coming up here before the final map. So we'll have two maps next time there. <laughs> the emote edit there. The Value of Life is the name of this. And this will be a map that I've never played before. When I would have played this back in the day, I would have gone right into the final battle. But we have something spicy here that I believe is the culmination of many of the side quests that we've d been doing with that, like, sealer of magic or... What? What? It wasn't sealer. What that? Prisoner of magic? I think it was prisoner of magic. Let me look at the thing where Bob here, the previous thing where Bob's. Um... The previous X's there. If I just look- Oh, Imprisoner of Magic, that makes sense. Yeah, the dude that was the Imprisoner of Magic, Kishuno there, that we've been hearing little bits about as we do the, uh, the various side quests and stuff. 
I'm fairly certain this is the culmination of that and we'll find out what the heck is going on with that and it'll be like a whole little side plot line that I would have never experienced back when. So, you know, I know how the game ends because I played it before, but I don't know what goes on with this, this next chapter, so I look forward to trying it. We'll see what's going on there, but I'm going to sleep. <laughs> I, well, first I'm gonna, I'm gonna recap my Black Belt Oath. That's what I better do. Look how much 3D printing filament I have now. I stocked up. <laughs> there was a back to school sale recently, so I got up a whole bunch of it um, <laughs> over there. Um, but yeah, I gotta, I gotta recap my oath here. Get ready for a day of holding boards and getting my fingers kicked in <laughs> tomorrow, but it'll be fun. Dogie's doing okay-ish. She's honestly not doing super well. She's a very old Dogie. She's a border collie who, if she makes it to November, will be 15 years old. She's on, you know, about as many medications as she can be on. Her whole back end, her back legs don't work all that well anymore. Her back and left leg especially that she doesn't put any weight on anymore is probably getting, it's getting swollen probably from lack of use here. So, she's in a lot of pain. She takes things slow here. You know, this was her last summer here. She's a very, very old lady here. A little bit of a grumpy old lady sometimes <laughs> is certainly the case. But, you know, still enjoying time spent near her family here. But, you know, I went for a walk earlier today before I went uh, to Taekwondo testing here. And, you know, she goes very slow and hobbles around and stuff. So, you know, very, 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 very old doggy that's in a decent bit of pain. But, you know, still happy to spend any time with family. Still has spurts of energy and still, you know, enjoys to play. But, you know, you can't throw things all that far anymore. You know, but she's, she's very old. That's the case here. She used to love to hop onto the uh, couch at the back of the office here, but, you know, she can't even do stairs on her own anymore. I have to carry her up or down any stairs. Maybe before I sign off, maybe I should give the doogie a treat. Maybe she'd like an additional bedtime treat. She's kind of nodding off here. She's still awake, though. I could see her ears move while I was petting her. She's like, wait, is that what I think it is? Is that a doogie treat for me as I nod off? Here you go, Jesse. Oh, there you go. I know you like those bacon flavored treats that that anima nerd sent to me that we still haven't gone through because you know going through them pretty slowly here because you know the vet said to cut back on treats and stuff so she gets some from time to time yeah i know you like those hmm? but yeah she's doing okay for the circumstances but otherwise you know not super duper hot here but yeah She's rather content right now, though, at least. She sure seems like. Right now, in the moment, is at least content and happy. Isn't that right, Jesse? <laughs> yeah. She's really tired, though. I'm starting to get pretty tired. So, yeah. Next time, let's beat this game. Let's knock off another Fire Emblem game. And then, if I manage to get through a lot of the game queue, maybe I'll be able to start Fate's Conquest Lunatic Classic this year, but... It, it might, most likely it'll be something for maybe early next year. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see here. But yeah. A decent while now, since around like early this year, it's been, you know, getting worse and worse. Uh, and we talked to the vet about it, and they said that the only way that it could be fixed would be like with a surgery to help repair it. But, you know, if you put her under, she's not going to be waking up. You know, she would not be able to. That's the case. So... You know, just making, uh, just making, yeah, <laughs> she settled down again. Making use of what time's left here. You know, she started really hobbling around this summer, but yeah. I mean, we we're honestly surprised that she's even made it this long. Like, last fall we were saying, like, this is gonna be her last fall. During the winter we were like, she's probably not gonna make it through the winter. But she made it through the winter, she made it through the spring, she made it through this whole summer, and we're going into another fall. So like, you know, she's a bit of a trooper. She's definitely quite a trooper here, really, really tough there. But yeah, ooh, that's definitely not great. Basically, we became an indoor dog from then on. Yeah, luckily, this is a more recent thing with the age. Luckily, not something that she's had to put up with for super long. She used to be so fast back in the day. Like, she was a Border Collie with so dang much speed. Out at my family's late cabin, we used to, uh, we used to go quad around the ice where my dad would be on his quad and drive around the ice and I would be in a sled behind with a rope attached to the sled on one end and the quad on the other end and just zip and zoom around. And, you know, not very safe, but it was a lot of fun. And the doggy would just easily run, like, 
right alongside like same as people not right alongside not like right by the tires or anything a decent bit of distance away but she had fun doing laps there and even outrunning the uh quad at some decent speed sometimes she used to really be able to zip and zoom in her heyday but now now she now she takes things really slow she's a lot more food motivated than she ever was because you know can't enjoy all that much in terms of crazy play exercise nowadays um <laughs> But, and enjoy spending time near her family and all that. But yeah, anyway, I've been on my, uh, I've been on my ending screen here for a little bit now. So let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and sign off. So with that, thanks everybody who stopped by and hung out for what I hope is the second last session. Hopefully the next one will be the, uh, will be the final one here. I'll be able to beat the game and all that. We'll beat Hector hard mode. And it'll be awesome, I hope. We'll see. We'll find out next time, I guess. But yeah. But yeah, I don't know what you mean the best stream stay on the ending screen for hours. Yeah, we just chill here and chat when you can't even see me. <laughs> That's what it's all about. You can see the doggy, which is the more important camera here anyway. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna head out here. Thanks everybody who tuned into this. And until next time, take care and see ya. Goodbye. <laughs>